What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hopefully, everyone's having a good day. Do we have in the chat? Gail, Nevermore, what's going on? Patriotic, Resell Chick, Andy, how you doing? Michelle, Catherine, Full of Grace Bickers, Four Oaks, Big Brother, Scott. So, hopefully, everyone's having a great night tonight. So, let's talk about March. March has just started, and I did get a haircut. Got a haircut for ASD. No, just kidding. So, uh, definitely want to talk about some goals. Talk about uh, my thrift haul today. A couple of bolos wanted to go over what I got. And when I talk about goals, I kind of want to go over too my transition between thrifting and liquidation, uh, my impressions of things that have happened in terms of sell through rates, process, profit, etc. So, Joey's March is starting with three orders. Nice. Cindy Rosen, what's up? Michael Burton, hey. Uh, I had three sales today as well. I sold my Stephen Ridley jersey, sold that for 30 bucks. Uh, what else did I sell? I sold um, loading here. Sold a MacBook cover for twenty-two, and a very worn Optrix body glove uh, case and lens lens set for fifteen. It was kind of junk. Post in the chat, so hopefully uh, they understand what they're getting. No sales for Catherine. All right, so let's talk about goals. Now, uh, I don't know if you follow in the chat. Todd Ferguson put a poll up. He actually runs a store. I think it's in Missouri. So give him a follow if you don't follow him. Uh, he has a wealth of knowledge if you ever want to ask him questions. But he put a poll up about if you have reached your goals for February. Uh, and I kind of thought about it, and I said, well, I didn't have a number. So let's think about a number. Now, <clears throat> what that number is is kind of all dependent on you, how much work you want to put in. Um, Mike, Michael worked for 2.5 hours today for 200. Nice. 30 Amazon sales for Four Oaks. Goodwill three times this week. List was slacking on it. Joey, get the listings up. Charlotte, still working on my FBA shipment, waiting on the correct labels and poly bags. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, so. Let's talk about goals, right? And then your goals could be monetary. Your goals could be listing, um, business-related, process-related. What are your goals, right? Jackie Games, what's going on? Thanks for joining. Uh, so think about process, right? You could have a goal that you want to process so many listings a night. Um, you could say, I want to uh, list five things a day, right? Uh, or I want to source three times a week. Uh, you can do one or multiple goals. Or you can have a sell goal, right? And sell goal, I think, is a little harder to attain. It's good to put it out there because that will help you strive to do the other things more. Uh, I think if you have a sell goal, you should have a listing goal because the more you list, the more you sell. But again, that'll teach you quality and content of listings. So you'll, it'll teach you pricing and uh, what items to look for. So I think for me, um, I'm transitioning between thrifting and liquidation. Uh, last month for February, for my February numbers, I did uh, $900 in thrifting profit. That's profit off items that I bought. And uh, liquidation, I did $1,200. So I should say about $2,000. And that was kind of me not going so full into uh, thrifting now that I have the bins and now that I have my process down. I think I'm going to put down, I think I'm going to do 2,500. 2,500 profit for the month. Jackie, thanks for subscribing. So let's say 2,500, we're going to do, let me get a pen out. I'm going to write this down. So what's today's date? Scott's getting started on wholesale. Nice. All right, so I'm going to write down 3 1 18. Looks like the dog came down. All right, so I'm going to write down 2500 
2,500 profit. So that doesn't include revenue. That doesn't include uh, new listings because it's going to be a different story. So that's going to drive me to list more to get those listings up. So get this flips as my goal is to get more organized. All right. And accountability too, right? Now that I'm putting this out there, I'm kind of, all right, Fenway. All right, Fenway's back here. He's getting my ties. Fen. All right, there he is. All right, so that accountability is going to make me want to list more, source more. Uh, who else wants to put a number out there? Maybe a process number, process thing, listing number, and then we can re revamp uh, halfway through the month. Michelle, Michael says, thanks. I run a moving business. That's how I was able to make that kind of money. Nice. Unbox Warehouse. How's it going? Yeah, always live here, 10 p.m. Bought seven pallets since Monday on top of my full-time job. Yes, so I do the same thing. Shane's listening and packing. Yeah, so full-time job, I come, I'll probably list until about 1, midnight or 1 a.m. I got to uh, pack up three items tonight. So that's kind of my other, uh, the transition, right, between thrifting and liquidation. When I bought liquidation, I spent a lot of capital up front to get those products. So, you know, I'm spending a thousand to make 200 or right. I'm, I'm just making numbers up. So now that I'm thrifting, my profit's going to be higher, uh, but I'm going to put more work, work into sourcing. So I'm hoping I can overcome the ease of liquidation to have enough product to sell. Full of Grace Pickers says, list at least 20 a day. Nice. Never slow down, never grow old. Try not to. Petite Sweat Flippin', it says, 50 things sent to Amazon FBA. Nice. So 50 items, okay. All right, so 50 items. So that's the other thing, right? Growing FBA. So I'm picking up brand new items. So I just got this today. Uh, got this for uh, $2.99. I could send this FBA. I'm going to try it on eBay first before I send it in. And that's where I'm getting my books at the bins. So I'm trying to grow my FBA shipments to uh, get more in per week and possibly try and do one a week, one FBA shipment a week. Uh, Charlotte wants to double her listings and profit. Should be close to 500 listings and 750 profit. Is that for the month, I'm guessing? Yeah, right now the liquidation prices are pretty high. I see a lot right now that ends tomorrow. I'm gonna see if it goes too high, uh, but I'll um, I'll check it out. Unbox warehouse shipping killed me, so I stopped. Yeah, so I mean, you got to bake that into your price. You got to look at what other things you're selling for, and you got to watch your buy price. So a lot of things now, and some of my goodwills were sealed for five bucks. It wasn't worth my time and effort on shipping and fees to make two dollars. So I left them on the shelf. So Charlotte, that's that's yours for March, March, right? 500 new listings. We'll put that up there. All right, I'm writing, I'm writing yours down. 750 profit. Nice. Books are hard to sell unless it's something popular in demand. Yes, that's true. And now that Amazon has switched their storage fees, which I'll probably go over, uh, not tomorrow, but maybe this weekend. Uh, that's what I'll probably do. Carrie says, you're going to venture into auctions? Uh, not at the moment. I don't, ha I don't have the time right now on the weekends. If I can find some close, maybe. But, uh, but yeah, not at the moment. So get this flips. I would like to have 150 to 175 listing up at the end of March. So you're at 87 listings right now, all right? So get this flips. So you have 150 to 75 active listings. I'm trying to get to 700 right now. I'm at 650, uh, hoping it makes it harder for me just because I hope more things sell. Oh, online auctions. Are you talking about eBay? I do all buy it now. I might have to turn some of my older listings into auctions. Scott has 34 items left to list on eBay. Finally finished my big shipment into FBA. I'll start getting ready for Easter. Yeah, Scott, you have it down. All right, full of grace, pickers. Keep us posted. 
Sandy, what's going on? Sandy fell asleep. Catherine, I'm hoping to get at least 100 listings for March. I have 211 now. So you want to be at, let's say, 300, right? Catherine wants to go 300. So what I do and what I'm going to do for this month is I'm going to write it down. Uh, I'm going to try and get a blog post up there just to get my numbers out there so it's holding myself accountable. Uh, I'll put up my numbers and what I want to do, and I'll kind of check in as we go through the month, and maybe halfway through the month we'll all check out our numbers and see what we're doing. Andy uh, wants to be at 1,200 <laughs> listings, 2,000 sales. Oh wow, you're at eight seventeen. So that's a, that's a, a big stretch goal. So that's that's good to have, right? Stretch goals, something that uh, you can't might be hard for you to reach, but is you can try and get as close as you can, if not meet it. So definitely, it's good to have stretch goals. You don't want to make it too easy. Joey's at one fifty eight and slack, and that's all right. You'll get up there. Red Nackerson found vintage golf clubs, wooden shafts today for 99 cents. Anything for a dollar is worth it. That's my opinion. Uh, do you guys have places that sell liquidation pallets? There's a few in Columbus that do. I've never touched them yet. Andy's at 917, not at 918. All right. Currently 917. All right. So I like those. I like the numbers, guys. We'll put the numbers up. Uh, if anyone's opposed to not me, I won't use your names. I'll just kind of put your uh, initials or first name in the, the list, but uh, we can all hold, hold, hold each other accountable. Red Nickerson's at 538. Nice. Arizona Hustler wants to get to 250. What are you at right now, Arizona? 250. Catherine only had 15 items when she first started watching. That's awesome. I'm glad you're getting up there. So the more listings you have, the better products, the better prices you're going to have sales. Uh, Moon and Sons is 30 pounds of jewelry, wants to list them in the lots. Yeah, give the lots a shot. Scott has 6,000 listings. Is that is that your listing amount? Holy cow. Arizona is at 104. All right, 104. Nice. Pants are in the pain. Yes, Joey. Pants are awful. Talk to talk to Adam. He has a ton of jeans to list. So goals, right? So I'm gonna have 2,500 say a uh, profit, and let me put my stretch goal of 800. I don't know if I could do that. So that's my stretch. I'm only at 650 right now. I'll put 800 listings. That's what I'm writing down. All right. So if you're watching after the fact and you want to get in on the 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 listing. Put a comment down below and I'll add your numbers. Put your current and future, whatever you want to do, um, put it down there and I'll include you in the uh, the posting. Red Nickerson's resale is leaving for a cruise. Lucky you. Scott and I have only 102 on eBay. Oh, you're saying that's um, Amazon then. Charlotte, I hit 175 this when I hit 175 listings, the sale started. Keep listing is the key. Yes, that is great. Catherine, keep listing. You'll get sales every day. Yeah, good point, Adam. If you go on vacation, don't just do your vacation time. Change your handling to when you're going to get back. All right, so you guys saw I picked this up. Sealed board games every time. 99% of the time I pick them up. All right, now this is one of the bolos I looked up. And I'm not sh too sure about fatigues. Hey, Linda, I got this PT jacket. It says Army on it. It's camo, reflective, the digital print. It sells for about $26. So I bought it for six, a little high, but I bought it for six bucks. I got this shirt. Bought this for three, no, four. I figured why not. It's an Arizona Razor, or not Arizona, Arkansas Razorbacks. So, Charlotte, you're right. You're from Arkansas, right? There you go. Razorback shirt. Don't know what it's doing in Ohio. Joey, I try to, so Joey says, still has to list your Goodwill receipts. I try to get them, and I list them right as I get them in. Now, this is what I do. 
Uh, I don't know how you guys do it, but every day I get my receipts. See that? I assign each receipt a number. You can see, sorry. Each receipt gets a number, and I kind of put a couple items on the top of it. So, and I record it in an Excel sheet, and then I can uh, reference that receipt if I need to. So the receipt should tie all to uh, all to the uh, Excel sheet. Uh, yes, Adam. Twenty. I think I said twenty two ninety nine free shipping. All right. Um, I got this. Pick this up. This sells for about twelve bucks. It's leap fret, leap pad paper, sealed. Um, I saw it. I said, why not sealed? So I picked it up. Got two games. Uh, I put this one up for sixteen. This one up for eleven. I've heard of these before on some other channels that sell pretty well, so I picked those games up. Again, they are complete with the so got those. All right, so here's another bolo I wanted to talk about. I almost walked by this one and I looked it up just because of the brand name on it. I got this Fisher Price. Now, how many remember this growing up? So this is from 1987. It's the medical pretend kit bag uh, Carrie I'll have to show you my sheet so I record every receipt with numbers and everything so so it's got everything it's got bandages stethoscope pressure uh, blood pressure and then it's has the syringe another band-aid with it and the ear thing, right? But that. Uh, it looked like comps were about $16. Pac-Man, what's going on? I was 30 and 87. <laughs> Maybe you still played with this. So, good, great, great condition in my opinion. Uh, it looks like some of them were selling for 15, 16 bucks. So given the multiple items on it, and it's pretty good condition, I put it up for $19.99. Free shipping, I'll see if it sells. But anything Fisher Price, always look it up. Don't walk by. And it sells frequently, so if you see it, pick it up. All right, the last thing I got here. Now, this uh, was pretty amazing to me. Uh, it was still sealed, and now I have to figure out how to get this tape off. Oh, I played doctor. Nice. Um, so it's a Tyco Viewmaster, and it's I believe it's the original. 1990, well, I don't want to say original. 1992, it's the lighted version. Still sealed. It comes with, I don't know if you can see that right there. One, two, three, four, five uh, slides. They're all sealed, all brand new. Um, let's see, Snow White, Magic School Bus, Cinderella, Mickey Stuff, and Muppet Treasure Island. But I have to be very careful getting this tape off because it's they taped it over the side and around that way. And it still has the original price tags. So would you guys recommend getting the original price tags off? But other than that, I'm going to try very carefully to get this stuff off. I might use my heat gun, just heat it up a little bit and pick this up. So, Adam, the original price tag was $6.99. The, what I bought, I bought all of this for $4. And it I think just the unit alone sells for 25. Uh, I have to look at these. I have to check eBay get, or Amazon again. But yeah, these are all sealed. See you, Michelle. Never more says leave them on. All right, so I'll, I'll leave them on what you guys think. So that was brand new. That was the last thing I got. So definitely, uh, Sandy says, I'm just starting out on that zero right now. And a new month, so you guys can watch me grow. Good. Sandy, you're at zero. What do you want to be at, Sandy? Any numbers? Adam, I will check Amazon, yes. Sandy, what do you want to be at? Charlotte had a Viewmaster in the 70s. All right. All right, guys, so that's what I bought. That's what I'm going to look out for. I will keep you posted. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think this is going to sell pretty quickly. This will sell, and I think my army coat will sell. That's my votes. 
what I'm going to do is I'll update you when they sell. So I'll tell you exactly what they sold for uh, when they sold and versus when I listed them. Uh, yeah. So that's my transitioning between thrifting and liquidation, right? I'm, I'm growing more of the thrifting side, keeping the liquidation lower. And I'll kind of play it by ear when we get to ASD and see what, uh, see what direction I'm going to go in, what I'm going to grow in, where I'm going to go to, private label, wholesale. But hundreds of people. Nice. All right. All right. So it looks like I have myself one, two, three, four, five, six people with goals. Nice. Big guy. All right. There we go. Big guy's in. 60 to 100. All right. Maybe there'll be some surprise prizes, but we'll see. I'll get that up there for you guys so we can all hold each other accountable. And uh, Pete, Carrie says time for a James Chase. Maybe I need to add to it. Uh, maybe I need to add to, add to my name. We'll see. Uh, big guy, or, uh, Adam says, yeah, tomorrow. So tomorrow night, guys, Jory's going to be on from Good Used Goods. Uh, you're going to learn about a tons of tips and tricks for fixing things, what he does, what he specializes in. There's a lot of cool tricks. So make sure to tune in. Uh, we'll try and get a good interview going. So bring your questions. Hogs shirt will sell if price right. Baseball season. Charlotte, what do you think? 19? Or is that too much? 1999? Nevermore. ASD is the uh, trade show for uh, sourcing, basically. you can. There's a ton of vendors there that are going to be selling products. Meet vendors, manufacturers, and look at ordering stuff. So, at Charlotte. All right, what pro I'm going to post this here. All right, guys, so that's all I had. Goals, thrift hall, be on the lookout. Uh, patriotic, Angie says, stay away from Hillier tomorrow. <laughs> nice. You're going to beat me. I won't be there in the morning. Good luck to you. Post what you get in the chat or a Facebook group. I, I want to see what you get. But uh, hopefully you do well. That uh, it's Nike. I'm I'm sorry, Charlotte. It's Adidas. Yes, it's in Vegas. Uh, I'll have it uh, next week. We'll do some ASD shows, uh, and then uh, I'll let you guys know more about the show, what it is, what to look for. And oh, Glenn's coming on right at the last minute. Oh, sorry, Glenn. Thanks for joining, though. So, guys, if you like the the, the show, hit the, the like button. Uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We've got a special guest on tomorrow night, and we'll do more ASD-themed shows next week. I'll get your listings up in a blog. I'll post it in the group, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want to post a comment down below, if you didn't do your goals, go for it, and I'll add you to the list. See you guys.